Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about uh, another Alice analogy. The reason I love them is because they're very fitting for today. You know, the whole idea is that it's nonsense. Everything is what it isn't. And that's pretty apt for the current state of the United States, where people who agree on things will oppose each other simply based on labels. So today we are going to talk about how conservatives uh, constantly advocate for the policies that AOC wants. Really. In fact, conservatives are actually better at bringing social democratic policies to the people than social democrats are because conservatives constantly advocate for health care, better health care even, guaranteed bank loans for houses, mental health care, free college, food security, housing, better funded schools, daycare access, legal help for like estate planning and stuff like that, family planning, and retirement for everybody. Those are social democratic policy. That, that's what AOC and her crew, that's what they want. And right now the conservatives are like, we, we, we don't, we, you got us wrong. <laughs> we don't advocate for that. that that's, that's wrong. If Americans had that, well, they'd be lazy. But see, they know that's not true because they do advocate for it constantly for a subset of the population. And I don't think there is a conservative out there who would be willing to come forth and say that members of the U.S. military are lazy. I don't believe that person exists. The military has all that. Why? Because deep down, conservatives know that it makes people more productive. It makes the organization more efficient. They know this. That's why they fight so hard for the military to have it. And if you were to ask conservatives about the military, they would say that it's the greatest on the planet. If it makes the military the greatest on the planet, what do you think it would do for the rest of the country? The other argument would be that, no, 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 see, those in the military, they earned it. They earned it. The factory worker, the farmer, the truck driver, the teacher, the fireman, they didn't, huh? I don't think it's that either. I think they know the country would be better off if people had this. But they're trained. They are trained to oppose it by those on the top who want those on the bottom divided, who don't want the average American to have a sense of security because the system requires that they be insecure. So they constantly chase that dollar so those at the top can make more dollars. That's what it's about. I would suggest that the average conservative knows this kind of access to these social features would not make people lazy. They know it doesn't. They advocate for it for the very people we expect to be least lazy. I think uh, it really has to do with them just accepting that um, those at the top need us divided. And the other side to this, and one of the other reasons those at the top don't want everybody to have this, is because if everybody did have it, I imagine it'd be a whole lot harder to get young, poor kids to sign up to go fight unnecessary wars so those at the top can make more money. You want to support the troops, you want to support the vets, stop turning them into combat vets. 
if everybody had this, that'd probably be a step in that direction. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.